Hey avocado enthusiasts and welcome to this video and I've got something very strange to show you today. This is an avocado tree that I just pulled out of my greenhouse. It's been in there all winter and something's happened. Look at the colouring of this avocado tree. Look at those leaves. It looks as though this avocado is variegated, but is it? First, what is variegation? Well, a simple definition of variegation just means having patterns of different colours or markings. So yes, by this definition, this avocado tree is variegated. Variegated plants are often seen to be aesthetically pleasing and highly sought after. Therefore, variegated versions of plants are typically much more expensive than their non-variegated counterparts. And they give them a different appearance. For example, I have this Monstera Deliciosa. Now this is a Thai constellation variety and it was a very generous gift from one of my subscribers. And to this day, it remains one of my very favorite plants. Just look at that beautiful marbling and sectional variegation, those fenestrations. Gorgeous. This plant here is also a Monstera Deliciosa. And as you can see, it's a bit more mature. Look at those gorgeous big leaves with those fenestrations. It's just lovely. These plants are of the same species, but they look very different. What's causing that? Why do they look so different? What causes the variegation? Well, there are a few different kinds of variegation. Let's talk about them. Chimeral variegation is what we see in Thai constellations. It's a very common form of variegation, which if you have a variegated plant, which is different from the default kind of plant species, that's what it's probably going to be, chimeral. So chimeral variegation looks a little bit like this. It could be marbled where it's a bit more spread or sectional, where it's just whole parts of the leaf there. And it's a genetic mutation which causes cells, parts of the, the leaf, not to form chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the chemical which gives plants their green colour and it's also the chemical which turns carbon dioxide and the air around us and sunlight into energy. So as a result we get these beautiful marbling and variegated patterns but also the plant is less good at turning sunlight into energy because it doesn't have as much chlorophyll. Some kinds of chimeral variegation is more stable than others. Thai constellations, for example, are very stable. These plants were made in a lab, essentially. The tissue was cultivated in a lab in Thailand, which is why it's got its name. And as a result, it's very stable in its variegation. There are other kinds of variegated monstera, the albos, for example, where the variegation is naturally occurring. That mutation has happened naturally, didn't have any human assistance. And it's much less stable than the Thai con. Given the different conditions, different stress, there's a chance that albo leaves could revert to their non-variegated state. Pattern gene variegation is another very common kind of variegation, which is built into the DNA of plants. Plants like this have variegation by default, and we get those patterns that we see in plants like Calathea lancifolia, or rattlesnake plant, where we have those darker and lighter sections, and also purple sections. This plant produces different chemicals, which give it those different pigments which is just gorgeous. There's also blister and reflective variegation. And that happens when a very thin layer of air is in between the cells of the plant. And that gives it a silvery kind of bluish reflective appearance. Then there's also pathological reasons for variegation. Mosaic virus causes variegation in plants. And some people even try to induce mosaic virus to give plants a variegation. So which one was it for this avocado tree? Well, I'm afraid it was probably none of them. My theory at this stage is that it was kept in a spot where it didn't get enough sun. It was quite shaded by the greenhouse, by the shelves, by plants around it, and it just didn't get enough light to develop a good amount of chlorophyll. Light is essential for developing chlorophyll, and so if you starve a plant of light, it's not going to develop that chlorophyll, it's not going to develop that green colour that plants have, and you're going to have those patchy bits of white, which is what I think has happened here. Now, 
is this plant going to continue growing variegated leaves? Well, we will never know. Unfortunately, not that long after I filmed that video, <laughs> we had some really, really hot weather and it got scorched, the leaves fell off and the plant died. So I'm afraid we may never know if we can have variegated avocados. I believe it is technically possible. If you have a variegated avocado tree, I would very much like to see that. Please get in touch. Stop the video. Between me filming this video, editing, publishing, I was scrolling on Instagram where I came upon Nursa Jambufan's post of this variegated avocado tree. I was captivated, I got in touch with him, and yes, this is a healthy tree which is variegated. I have lots of questions about the future of this tree. I, I have no idea how stable this variegation is. The tree's leaves are variegated. I'm just, I'm just very curious. I would like to know what would happen if we grafted from this tree. So if we take a scion or a branch from this tree, put it on another rootstock, would it continue to grow and be variegated? My hunch says yes, but I just don't know. It's beautiful. I'm curious about it. How unusual. If you do have a variegated avocado tree, I have lots of questions for you. Please do get in touch. All right, we'll get back to the video now. Perhaps one day I'll be able to grow one here on Scott Grows an avocado tree, but not today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you have enjoyed it and that you learned something about variegation. I am a little bit mournful that we don't have a variegated avocado at the end of this video, but that's the way it goes sometimes. If you have not already subscribed to Scott Grows an Avocado Tree, please consider doing so, so that you don't miss any of our future avocado videos here. And please do join me on this avocado growing journey. Thanks once again for watching and I will see you next time. You notice this one? This is one that I helped un unfurl. Don't do that. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.